Então você quer saber por que o Warren Buffett analisa as demonstrações financeiras das empresas? Saiba que esse canal pode te ajudar a fazer a sua própria análise e entender o que está por trás desses relatórios e demonstrações contábeis. Então inscreva-se e deixe seu like no vídeo. Se você já opera na Bolsa de Valores, já deve fazer as suas análises baseadas nas diferentes escolas existentes. Análise técnica usando gráficos para achar o melhor ponto de entrada e buscar surfar uma tendência. O tape reading fazendo operações curtas e buscando lucros no day trade. Ou análise fundamentalista, analisando os balanços e demonstrações. Independente da sua escola de análise, você com certeza já deve ter ouvido falar de Warren Edward Buffett. Ele é muito conhecido por suas famosas frases, normalmente utilizadas quando estamos com a nossa posição perdedora, esperando o preço voltar. Só cumpre algo que você ficaria perfeitamente feliz em segurar caso o mercado fechasse por 10 anos. Contabilidade é a linguagem dos negócios, e essa eu concordo. É, é necessário conhecimento na contabilidade para entender o que as empresas estão fazendo e qual a sua situação. Não acho que quem ganhar ou perder... Não, 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 essa não é dele. É que é tanta frase que... e tanto conteúdo que é atribuído ao Warren Buffett que é melhor que ele mesmo nos explique o porquê que ele analisa os demonstrativos contábeis das empresas. I'd like your advice on how to understand annual reports, what you look for, what's important, what's not important, and what you've learned over the years from reading thousands of reports. Thank you. Well, we've read a lot of reports, I will tell you that, and we uh Well, we start by looking at the reports of companies that we think we can understand. So we hope to find, we hope to be reading reports, and I, and I do read hundreds of them every year. We hope to be reading reports of businesses that are understandable to us. And then we see from that report whether the management is telling us about the things that we would want to know about if we owned 100% of the company. And when we find a management that does tell us about those things, and that is candid in the same way that a manager of a subsidiary would be candid with us and talks in language that we can understand, it, it definitely improves our feeling about, about investing in such a business and the, and the reverse uh, turns us off to some extent. So if we read a bunch of public relations gobbledygook, you know, and, and we see lots of pictures and no facts, uh, it has some effect on our attitude. Uh, toward a business. We want to understand the business better when we get through with the annual report than when we picked it up. And that is not difficult for a management to do if they want to do it. If they don't want to do it, you know, we, we think that is a factor uh, in whether we want to be their partners over a 10, 10 year period or so. But we've learned a lot from annual reports. For example, I would say that Uh, the Coca-Cola annual. You read lots and lots of annual reports, and uh, I'm curious what you are reading for, if you would share that with us. But I'm more curious, because I think I know what you're reading for, uh, if there are any disclosures, uh, any further disclosures that you would like to see companies make in their financial reporting, or that the SEC require in uh, financial reporting, or proxies, or other communications with mm -hmm. their shareholders. And that would be for both uh, you and for Mr. Munger. Yeah. The main thing uh, that they can't mandate in annual reports, I really like to have, I, I like to know as much as I can about the person that's running it and how they think about the business and what's really going on in the business. In other words, I, I would like to have uh, a report that would be identical uh, to what if I owned half of a company but was away for a year and I had a partner who owned the other half, when I came back that he would tell me about what had taken place during the past year and what he foresaw coming up and all of that. I, I, that is what I think the purpose of the report is. Now, the SEC mandates a lot of information and, and, and some of that is, is helpful, uh, uh, but there's an intent behind the report. I mean, if it's a sales document, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm less interested. I'm, uh, and uh, I don't see any way to mandate Uh, what I'm talking about, but that's the kind of report I'm looking for. What I'm trying to do as I read reports, A, I, I like to understand just generally what's going on in all kinds of businesses. If we own stock in, in a company in an industry and there are eight other companies that are in the same industry, I, I want to own or be on the mailing list for the reports for the other eight because I can't understand 
how my company is doing unless I understand what the other eight are doing. I, I want to have the perspective of in terms of market share or what's going on in the business or their margins or the trend of margins or all kinds of things that I can't get unless I know. I can't be an intelligent owner of a business unless I know what all the other businesses in that, in that industry are doing. And so I try to get that information out of a report. If I'm thinking about investing in a specific company, I try to size up their business and the people that, 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 are, that, are, that are running it. And over the years, I, uh, I, I found uh, reading a lot of reports to be quite useful in terms of making business decisions at, at Berkshire. If we own a whole of a business, I want to own shares in, in, in all of the competitors just to keep, keep track of what's going on. And I want to be able to intelligently evaluate how our managers are doing that. And I can't do that unless I know the industry backdrop against, uh, against which they're working. Uh, uh, it's amazing, uh, you know, what, how well you can do in, 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 invest, in investing really with what I would call outside information. I find inside information, I'm not sure how useful that is, but, but outside information, uh, there's all kinds of information around as to, as to businesses. And you don't, have to, you don't have to understand all of them, and you just have to understand the ones that you're thinking about getting in, and, and you can do it if you just, but you, nobody will do it for you. You can't read in my view, you can't read Wall Street reports and get anything out of them. You have to do it yourself and, and, and uh, get your arms around it. I, I, I don't think we've ever gotten an idea, you know, in 40 years from a, from a Wall Street report, but, but we've gotten a lot of ideas from annual reports. Charlie? What I find is that it takes a long time to read the annual report, even if it's a comparatively simple business. Because if you really are trying to understand it, it's not a bit easy. Yeah, I would say that on average in a business we're really interested in, even though we know what to skip to some extent and what to read, I mean, it, it's going to be 45 minutes or an hour on a report, and if there are six or eight companies in the industry, that's going to be six or eight hours perhaps, and, and then there are quarterlies and a lot of other. I mean, it, the way you learn about businesses is by absorbing information about them, thinking it, deciding what counts and what doesn't count, relating one thing to another, and... Uh, you know, that's, that's the job. At, uh, uh, and you can't get that by looking at a bunch of little numbers on a chart bobbing up and down. Que aula, hein? E aí, você entendeu as razões por que Warren Buffett analisa as demonstrações financeiras? Eu anotei aqui, vamos ver. Ele analisa para entender sobre a empresa com visão de dono ou sócio. Ele analisa para entender a história da empresa, como ela vem se comportando nos últimos anos e para onde ela vai. Comparar com outras empresas do mesmo setor calcular e verificar os indicadores. E ele analisa porque ninguém pode fazer isso por ele e ninguém pode fazer isso por você. É difícil, mas com o tempo, você aprende a filtrar as informações e fazer a sua própria análise. Se você gostou desse tipo de conteúdo, inscreva-se no canal, deixe seu like e comente se você já faz as suas análises sozinho. Se esse vídeo chegar a 200 likes, nós vamos dar algumas dicas de como você pode analisar uma demonstração financeira. Era isso, ficamos por aqui.